everyone. I'm Mr. Fei from the Faculty of Art and Design from Southern University College. And now we are presenting the topics is the augmented reality in higher education, applications in industrial design course. So for today, the agenda is the introductions, objectives, method, findings, and last is the conclusions. So let's us come to the introductions. So for the industrial design, industrial design is a key component of product development. It advances the innovations, help the business succeed, and contributes to a better quality of life by improving the functionality or the aesthetics of a product. So most of the students, especially for the first year students, find it is challenging as they do not have any prior knowledge of the industrial design process. So following their entry into the institute or any college, they begin to gain their relative knowledge. So in the industrial design course, especially for the rendering technique, this subject, it is one of the subjects that allows the students to visualize their ideas through the drawings with the use of 2D and 3D software. However, learning rendering techniques, if we just use the 2D and 3D software, can be limited as it may not provide students with a comprehensive understanding of how their designs would look and feel in the real world. So, go to our next page is the student engagement. So it is widely recognized that student engagement as a critical factors that influence the teaching and learning in higher education. So if we can integrate the technologies into the classroom, this can significantly enhance student engagement and learning, ensuring that students keep pace with the demands of a technology-driven world. So for the next one, the augmented reality education in Malaysia. As we all know that AR in education has the capability to improve on existing learning methods. So by boosting the level of instructions and student achievement in higher education, undergraduate students will have access to world-class education, promoting the development of high-quality intellectual resources. So this involves the creation of instructional tools as well as the redesign of university programs and programs and the process. So the mobile augmented reality MAR applications taking the advantage of real-time interactive environments with both the real and the virtual properties. So it enables the users to view the objects in three dimensions on their smartphones. So MAR technology has been used in many fields of education, but for its applications to the field of design education, design and art and education has not been fully explored. So in this research, MAR are going to be used in this research and MAR offers a valuable solution by allowing the students to overlay their virtual designs onto the physical spaces or physical, physical environments, giving them a more immersive and realistic experience. So next is our objectives. So the objective of this research is to first to develop a prototype of MAR applications for industrial design subjects, particularly is the rendering design techniques as a learning tool. Second is to investigate the impact of the mobile-based AR MAR application on undergraduate industrial design students' engagement. So this leads us to our third part is the methods. So the, for the first one is our prototype development. So um, you can see that we have five steps for us to develop our prototype. For the first one, the lesson content was reviewed to define the necessary requirements. After that is a two hour classroom observation. So this two hour classroom observation was conducted to understand the students' needs and identify their learning characteristics. So why we do that is because different learning styles will also be considered in our system to ensure that the system or the applications was learner-centered and user-friendly. So the first step is the MAR applications were refined according to the ID program contents, that means the industrial design program, contents until it meets all the requirements. And last, the final design of the prototype was then completed by the lecturing faculty members. 
after the prototype development is the pilot study. A pilot study was conducted with six participants from the college to identify any shortcomings in the NAR applications. So after that, they were then provided with two ivory cards that contains the image of the product and the environment. After that, they are allowed to self-explore the applications. Finally, the participants were asked to complete the question snare to provide their feedback on their experience. Lastly, is a quality method involving a two-hour classroom observation was conducted at a college in Johor Bahru, including both the instructors and the students. So after that is our findings. As you can see from the pictures, we have the figure one and the figure two is the image and of the product and the environment that you can see from our applications. The applications in this study features the AR image of the product and the environment because this will allow the users to interact with the detailed representations through the augmented reality. So the design of these functions aims to enhance the learning experience by providing a tangible visual understanding of the product and its context within the augmented reality environment. This, after the, they use the applications, students can easily interact with both the product and the environment. So as you can see from the pictures, this is the pictures that when the students overlay the product and the environment, then they can see, they can adjust the, through the applications. So the findings from the pilot study align with the previous research on augmented reality in education, which has consistently demonstrated the positive impact of AR on student engagement and learning outcomes. These results further support the potential of AR technology to revolutionize the teaching and learning in higher education, particularly in design education. While the MAR application positively impacts the student engagement, incorporating interactive elements or gamifications could further enhance engagement and motivation for industrial design students. So comes to the last part of our conclusions. So according to our results, the research objectives have been met and have been achieved. The discussion primarily focused on literature review and prototype identifications. The application was developed as a learning tool for ID students, and a significant difference was not in the formative formatives and delayed summative evaluations. The research findings indicated that the MAR application successfully provided an engaging learning experience and enhanced students' learning outcomes. So for the higher education, this represents a novel approach to teaching and learning tool and student engagement in the learning process. So the researchers hope that this study will assist the industrial design educators in providing student engagement in the higher education. So last, I'm going to say uh, thank you to all of you and the uh, acknowledgement to our faculty. Thank you.